Hi everyone, Megan here. I hope you're all hanging in there and doing okay. And I hope that you've had some happy moments today. I am going to be teaching a tutorial on how to draw some of our favorite camp characters, Herman the Worm and Mama Goonie Bird. So if that sounds interesting to you or fun, stick around and I promise it'll be a good time. Before I begin, I just wanna say that this is just how I imagine the characters to look in my head, but that doesn't mean they have to look exactly the same in yours. So please feel free to add different parts and pieces to these characters and make them your own, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, let's start. Okay, so first up, we're gonna draw one of my personal favorites, Herman the Worm. Okay, so all you're gonna need is some kind of pen or marker, doesn't matter what kind, whatever color you choose, and some paper. Okay, so to draw Herman the Worm, we're gonna start with any kind of squiggly line you feel. I like to make mine kind of an S shape, but you could also make it more of a C shape. So we'll try it with both of these. So for this one, you're just gonna trace back along the lines and follow the shape. And you can close one of the ends like this, but leave the other one open. So we'll go over here and do the C as well. And I'm just showing you guys two different versions of Herman so you feel like you don't have to be stuck drawing it one way. So next we'll do the eyes. I personally am a big fan of big round eyes. I think they're cute. I think they're fun. You can make them wacky. They can be different sizes. Sometimes I like to add really long eyelashes, kind of like SpongeBob. Or maybe some big glasses. We'll make this one smiling and this one a little bit surprised. So we have our general shape. Now I'm gonna add, I don't really know what these parts are called on a worm, but whenever you add the lines, it really just makes it look like a worm and not so much like a snake. So I'm gonna add these little lines in. And you can kind of put them wherever you want. I usually put them towards the end and up towards the front, but honestly, wherever, okay. Um, let's do, let's do a hat on this one. Maybe a flower. Get creative with it, get fun. We'll make this guy bald with a curly Q. And maybe, maybe a bow tie as well. All right, so there you have it. That is how I would draw Herman the Worm, but I can't wait to see what you all come up with, and I can't wait to see your version of Herman as well. Okay, so up next, we have another camp favorite, someone we just can't stop singing about, Mama Goonie Bird. So first, I'm gonna start off with a triangle and a line through it for the beak, and a couple of ovals right on top for the eyes. Next, I'm gonna draw a circle around all of those for the head, and I'm gonna add long eyelashes again. Next, a little fluff on top, and I'm gonna draw a really long neck, kind of like a giraffe, and add stripes, because why not? Next, I'm gonna draw the body. Here's the tail and just a big swoop at the bottom for the belly. Next, I'm gonna draw the wing. This can be any shape you like. And lastly, just a couple of good old straight lines for those legs. So now that we've drawn Mama Goonie Bird, I don't think this is complete until we draw her seven chicks. My best advice when drawing things of multiples is to keep it as simple as possible to make your life a lot easier. So for these chicks, I'm gonna just do a simple beak, eyeballs, a big round circle around them, and just a couple of legs. They might not be the most realistic chicks, but it still gets the point across, and I think they're pretty funny looking.
I wouldn't worry about making these look perfect. I honestly think when the circles aren't perfect looking and the eyes aren't perfect looking, it gives the characters so much more attitude and personality and so much more interesting to look at this way. I find it so fun to experiment with these and make them all look a little bit different as each one I imagine would have its own personality. And just like the song says, these poor chicks couldn't fly, so of course I'll draw this one falling. Okay, speeding up the video now since there's seven of them and they all pretty much look the same. All right, there you have it, Mama Goonie Bird and her seven chicks. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you found this fun, I encourage you to try drawing some of your other favorite camp characters at home. Have a great day.